Hey guys, it's me again. Happy Saturday. It's Barry with Barry's A-Track and Classic Car Radio up here. And what we've got today is two seemingly identical radios. Uh, as you can see, they're the exact same model. Uh, one has the knobs and the faceplate and the other doesn't. Uh, that's not the only difference though. There's another difference. This top radio, and once again, you can see these are identical models and they're the same in back too, except for one thing. This one's supposedly made by Lafayette. And this one has an AudioVox brand on it. So they're they're the they're the exact same unit. You can even see that the you know it even has the same uh, you know warranty warranty stickers on it. Um, you know the same uh, same location for the uh, center post mounting. Same wiring coming out the right side there. Uh, they're the exact same model, but they're not, <laughs> because the top one is a Lafayette 17-02828W. The bottom one is an AudioVox C977, but they're the exact same unit. Okay, so what I'm getting at now is one of these came from uh, Kimber and Candace, and the one that I demonstrated for them yesterday was this one this is actually my unit uh, my own personal unit which uh, their unit had uh, problems with the a-track that I th that were pretty involved whereas uh, this one the a-track was pretty well ready to go so I had originally decided to just exchange uh, theirs for this good one but then I found out that their radio actually has a little bit better FM reception so I went ahead and toughed it out and uh, and uh, sweated out the 8-track to get that all working properly so now we have uh, now they've got their own original radio back the one that they're used to um, and so let's go ahead and hook her up and make sure it works before we send her back so this is our right speaker won't take but a second to do this okay there's our right speaker connected okay left speaker Alrighty, power and ground connection. Got power. Let's see, where can we get a ground off of this thing? Where's a good place to steal the ground? Right here in the mounting stud. Okay, and antenna. Alrighty, I don't know whether I've got it set to FM or AM at the moment. It's set to FM at the moment. Let's turn it on. But the legends remain. And the papers tantalize. Okay, make sure we have both New speakers Orleans, operating. Veracruz and the roads to Mexico Balance City. left. And the correspondence hinting Balance right. liberate but seize Mexico. Okay, center. Draw the western. Okay, let's make sure the AM works. Yo, the guys, it's like when I came to D.C. Okay, I there's our AM. Registered. I said, okay, I'm gonna, I want a really cool license plate. Okay, and let's test the A-track. registered art of war. So my license... Okay. Yeah. Point tape out and the radio comes back. So that uh, that takes care of that. Uh, this one, uh, their original unit has a little bit better reception on the uh, on the high end of the FM dial than uh, than mine did. So I decided to go ahead and do the extra work and, and give them back the the unit that has the better radio because the A track's pretty much the same on both of them. So uh, that's uh, pretty much it for this one. Uh, there's not a whole lot to test on a on this type unit because it's not a conversion. It's just a standalone uh, original unit. So uh, this is the the so can so Kimber and Candace are going to get their own unit back. And uh, my unit, I'll either fix the FM reception or maybe just scrap every parts. I, I don't know. They're, they're actually sometimes worth more in parts than they are as complete units, uh, especially the controls. So um, thank you, uh, Kimberly, or thank you, Kimber and Candace, for your business from Napa, California. Once again, uh, you'll be getting your own unit back. Uh, and thank you guys for watching and listening. Uh, to reach me for service, please visit the website in the description below. And if you print out a work order, that will tell you all my options, prices, including options for turn time and a work order is required with all jobs so if you're serious about sending in your radio and you're on my website you might as well go ahead and print up a work order because you're going to have to at some point anyway so thanks again guys and we'll see you next time